what's happening everybody amp capo here black adonis games we are in lira starter game for unreal engine 5 and things are looking kind of beautiful um look at the frames guys 70 to 80 you see a little 8 popping in there and then look at that ms all right and in game it's staying pretty doggone good you know what i mean it's staying pretty good in the game and you guys can see i added a lot more to the landscape i actually have a couple portals this one isn't working so good um the other side of it over here works perfect like you walk into it and it just works perfect that one for some reason acts funny so i'll figure it out um i want to start the video off like i love to always um before i get into all the extras um i want to thank my subscribers who have subscribed since the last time uh i posted man guys i'm up to over 300 subscribers man i i never even imagined it y'all know what i'm saying um i mean i thought i was just, I, i'm just loving the fact that just a regular community is you know jumping in um, that's what I wanted. I don't want to have a bunch of PR people and all that, but which eventually, you know, it's going to come to that. But um, right now, you know, this is all testing and demoing. Um, I told you guys I want to make this a front end for the lesser God. Um, but I want to show you how I got the speed. First, I want to play it and show you guys um, what I have here. I also added a new grenade. I added some dash effects, which I'm still working on learning all of that you can see that the skins of my characters now actually uh spawn and die with the same effects as the defaults on my character's hands this character there's about three characters whose hands are still not right out of the 11 that i have i have 11 characters now including the mannequins i have a new projectile so you can see that so there's the new projectile if it makes contact it blows up instantly you can also throw it towards the ground so it'll skate kind of across the ground because it's made to bounce got one so there we go i really need a different but i have this uh grenade and i brought it over from my other project um i like the one in my other project better still but this one's pretty good Woo! got smoked um, I added a lot of landscape and as you guys can see just watch the frames. It's still playing really well and this is um, a, a Meta human hair. So Just so you guys know so I mean it's playing really well man, and um, there are no um, Everything in here is 2k or above So it's really really good it, it, and it looks good. I fogged it out a little bit um, It just looks really good man for for gaming. Yeah, this is nice and I want to show you guys pretty much how I did it. I just want to play a little bit more. And then I'll, I'll come back and play after we're done. But I do want to show you guys a little bit of what I did. And then the dash effects. I, I also made the character run faster. As you can see, the character runs way faster. But it works really well. Um, the grenades, I increased the uh, range of their uh, destruction. Got a double elimination. I increased the range of their destruction a little bit as well. They were set pretty low. So like all of those little specs I'll go into so you guys can see exactly how I did it. Um, I think the only time where it dips below 60 is when their character is spawning back in and there are a lot at once. Um, but most of the time it stays over 60 and then you got to remember that I am recording as well so um, normally it's between 65 and 70 the entire time and the uh, MS is all the way down to like 14 to 15 so you know you got to uh, account for the fact that my C drive is my main drive and I'm recording on it so it's gonna take away some frames guys unfortunately but you can see it's not glitchy at all it's working it's doing what it's supposed to do there's somebody shooting at me oh they're shooting at them they're just so in front of me it's coming through them and coming back also um the character's hands seem to look better in the ai than they do in my actual character so i'm also questioning that now the alien his hands are not good also my dash you can see it's got it's frozen on the effect of my dash so like i said i'm still learning that um and i know why the effect is frozen on i believe so i'll fix that but 
as you can see now um that's a different from a regular grenade and that's what i'm trying to do is uh form a little bit of my own weapon uh customizations and then uh in the end i want to apply them per character so that each character can have their own attributes but um the skinning and all that i've have figured most of that out now so i'll try to show you guys that stuff man 11 11 man y'all know me man i ain't trying to lose in front of y'all um but as you can see, and I didn't do her hair yet, like, you know, I, I, there's still stuff I got to figure out. So I got to figure out how to actually apply that to the hair or if, even if I want to. I, I, some characters I have their their skin um, uh, fade out or, you know, vanish with death, but then other parts of them don't. So it's just kind of her character right now. But um, like I said, man, most of the hands work really well. Um, you can see it went down. Like I said, I'm recording, so man, it's really trying to kick me in the, in the backside right now, man. Um, but that's because I'm recording. Still really good, though. Where are all my guys at? Triple elimination. Nice. Got him. <laughs> so there y'all go. You know what I'm saying? Um... I'm going to show you guys how I got the frames, though, and how I got them to be consistent. Now, come on, guys. Remember, I'm recording, so that's pretty good to get the frames that high. Um, and like I said, I add a lot of characters, um, and some of their hands are better than others. Um, and even in the mannequin, there's there's something else to it, and I um, understand the concept behind it now, so I'll figure it, the rest of it out later. But... Um, for prototyping this is good enough um i don't need the hands to be perfect these are not even going to be the characters that i use in my actual project um except for kipaki and um some of the um higher end soldiers that you see but these uh like this character here is not going to be in the project um, this character oh missed him Oh, I promise y'all I was going to show you. I'm sorry, y'all, man. I'll sit here and play. Man, I'll be in this for hours. My bad. Let me <laughs> let me get out of this, man. Let me show my people how I did this. All right, so to get this speed, man, this is what you're going to want to do. You're going to lose a little bit of quality, man, but come on, guys. This looks good. You cannot complain, Um, especially since the fact is that you can turn all these things back on when it's time for you to build. So let's go in and the first thing you want to do is you want to go to uh, project settings. You want to type in Lumen. And the thing is, is that um, if you have Lumen on, you want to turn it off. That's step one. The other thing is this is what I turned off here. This actually sped me up. There's two settings here. You have software ray tracing mode, um, and I set it to global. It, by default, it's set to detail, which is when you, and, and let's read it, guys. It tells you what it's doing. When using software ray tracing, Lumen will trace against individual meshes, distance fields for highest quality. Costs can be high in scenes with many overlapping instances. Okay? And then if you reread the other one, when using ray when using ray tracing software lumen will trace against the global distance field for fastest traces so switch it to this one for the fastest traces this one and i'm going to tell you why it says overlapping it can cost well if you guys look at my scene most of my my items i mean i want the look of things have been here and things are kind of going to ruin a little bit and so there's going to be overlapping the buildings are overlapping these things are overlapping so it's going to cost me to turn that on and then just lumen period it's very costly guys so if you have lumen on turn it off that's step one Okay, especially if you're not on a high spec machine, man, you can run five. You're just going to have to turn, do what I'm ask, asking you to do here and it should work for you. So turn off Lumen, um, set this to global and then um, you want to go. The last thing is shadow. So you want to type in shadow and you want to change your shadow maps method. By default, Unreal Engine is, 5 is set to virtual shadow maps 
beta it's costly man it looks better don't get me wrong it looks better but it's it's costly man this is this probably costs you like 20 frames 30 even possibly 30 depending on what you have in i'm being serious so um change this and while you're working just change these things when you're building go ahead and switch them back if you want the quality because you're going to gain like you should gain at least 10 to to 20 frames in a build if you're doing it right you should you should be gaining about 20 frames in a build so whatever you're seeing um you should be gaining 20 more than that um but you got to remember you're compensating so it should end up balancing out at about 60 frames if you do it right you should be balancing out at around approximately 60 to 65 frames and you should be above 60 in a build like i'm thinking you should be but you guys saw when I had everything turned on before I was not above 60. I was showing you guys it was like 44 frames with all that lumen and all that stuff on. So, you know, they're probably testing this stuff on machines that are very high spec. And so that's how they're getting those results, guys. But that's what you want to do, man. And then when you pop, do a restart. I, uh, and if you don't have the restart plugin, guys, uh, I got to show you this because y'all are my people. Y'all are my family. So let's go here and we're gonna go to um, plugins. We're gonna, we're in plugins, we're totally gonna go to plugins. We're gonna go to restart, okay? So this should be free, available on uh, Unreal Engine. Um, I saw it was free. I used to have it before, man, and then the whole time I had 427, they didn't have it anymore, man. I was so mad. So. It's real good to see this back. Um, restart editor, get this dude. This is a blessing for, for, for the engine in any phase. Get restart, man. It's the best thing to happen. I'm serious. Um, there's nothing worse than just pressing the exit, man. Sometimes you gotta do stuff and then restart. So guys, uh, restart. And when you restart, your frame should pop back. And then you should be able to go in. And whatever your frames are, if you're using a very basic map, your frame should be really high because this is a huge map, guys. And you can see, like, his hands, they're really good. His hands look really good, and that's what I mean. Some of the characters look really good, and I'll show you guys the method that I did to get them uh, a lot easier, man. You don't even have to retarget. I can just tell you guys, if it's a um, UE4 character, man, just delete the skeleton and replace all of the references with the UE4 mannequin skeleton inside of the Lyra starter. Game. That's all you gotta do, man. Um, I'm gonna still do a video on it so you guys can see it visually because y'all know I ain't the type to just leave y'all hanging. So I'll do that. Oh man, here they come. And y'all know I'm gonna play for a minute, so I'm gonna go ahead and play, man. If you wanna stay, stay. If you got things to do, man. Um, I understand. I know what life is. So, um, if you gotta try to uh, go ahead and get in your project, get in your project. Where's my backup? Got him. Double elimination. And this is my crew. It looks like a bunch of drones. Yeah, a bunch of drones. I got a, quite a few on my team here. Now this area is not my favorite because, okay, I got it. And I did have a jump pad there and I still, guys, I gotta get this landscape foliage to working properly. That's something that still hasn't been working right for me. Um, like when I try to erase or replace, you can see the replacement underneath. Oh man. But the landscape, the grass never disappears. So I can't go over the grass and it's bothering me. So I got to figure that out, man, because I don't want the landscape to be over grassy like it is. There's spots. I have a whole bunch of different layers to this landscape and I want to go ahead and make it look good. Oh, how did I miss them? No way there you go all right <laughs> so yeah guys that's it man and i'm gonna do a video on how i did the effects and all that other stuff too but as you guys can see i left the frames on on purpose and like i said man they're normally actually 65 to 70 
Um, and I told y'all I lose about 10 when I'm recording usually. So, but you can see there's no glitches. Um, the map errors are also gone that I had. Um, I only have errors from there's some new, uh, some new kit that came out that's supposed to be uh, ability system friendly, but it's it's making the Lyra system uh, kick off some errors. So. You see some red arrows at the top. That's what it's from. Oh man, I didn't do that right at all. I'm in trouble. She's dumb. She got stuck or something. Yeah, she got stuck. And I have noticed that some of the characters get stuck from time to time. Um, just in place. So I gotta figure out what that's all about. It may have to do with those uh, nav meshes that I've generated. Um, the invokers or I have another like nav mesh instigator or something weird so it may have to do with that as well so I'm gonna figure those out wow right there already. oh no don't jump <laughs> all right man that's it man I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here guys I'm not gonna bore you with a whole nother round man it's me I just love uh, doing this um, I still have the characters on random respawn. My next effort, I guess I could tell you guys that. My next effort is going to be to add more animations. As you can see here, also I have a punch animation instead of the typical. And this is only for the pistol. When you have rifles, it's, there are still the defaults. But I did figure out how to get into that. So once I get all these things developed better, I'll show you guys what I did. Um, but I need to make sure these methods are going to work. There's a lot of weirdness to it. But for the most part, most of this stuff works. So I'm satisfied with it. Um, I did add a lot of area though, man. Like there's areas down here, there's spawners down here. But I d I'm not sure how it picks which spawners it's gonna spawn. I think it's just pretty random. But everywhere you can see I'm down here. And before when I was down here, it was literally causing me, it was telling me that my virtual memory was like, expired like it was it was being overdrawn and i'm like there's no way dude that doesn't even make sense i went and added more virtual memory and everything and it was just because the lumen and all that is just very expensive it's ridiculous I increased the uh, speed of the grenade uh, as well so you can use it more often. Dang it. I'm going to add lock on and we got it again. I'm going to add lock on. That's my next thing. So that way uh, when you go in to throw the grenade, I want it to lock on. So that way uh, you can have the lock on for the grenade. Um, I don't know. Maybe it'll be an earned feature. I'm not sure. But anyway, guys, that's it, man. Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games, man. I hope that that helps some of you guys that are uh, struggling with f for some speed inside of Unreal Engine 5. Um, and then, like I said, this is in the engine, so your build should be way faster, especially if you leave it like this. Your build should be really fast. And I think that this looks really good, man. Unreal Engine 5 already has just better lighting, better, you know, man, everything. So... Um, the Lumen and Nanite definitely want to use it for your build, but not while you're, you know, not while you're testing, man. It's just too heavy, all right? Um, once again, man, I want to thank everybody, man, who has liked and subscribed. You guys are really, um, y'all just, I don't know, man. Y'all just don't understand what it does. It doesn't do that, though. Woo! Straight death. Um, Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games, man. Um like and subscribe man tell a friend y'all know how i do it man tell one of your homies tell a friend tell one of your people tell somebody you know all right um this is what we do over here and i'm definitely going to give y'all knowledge i'm going to try to give y'all as much knowledge as i can there's going to be things that i don't tell you um you got to have something that makes you original or makes you 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 know um, if I tell you how to do everything I know how to do, then um, you would just be me. <laughs> and there's already a me. Anyway, guys, like and subscribe, man. Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games, man. Um, one love. Happy Devin.